you hear the Marvel Universe, right? So, so I feel like they have their own sort of Marvel Universe, and Dr. Gorka <laughs> is like the supervillain in, in their own little alternate universe, where in their universe, there was no collusion between the Trump campaign in Russia. The real collusion was Hillary, right? right. He did the collusion. You know, I think that there, it's projection. They understand that there is a very serious set of allegations out there facing Donald Trump. They are sort of in hysterics over the crisis of legitimacy of this White House because there is a very real question of his legitimacy, of whether or not he committed obstruction of justice, of whether there was actual collusion, and whether some of his friends could go to prison, right? So I think what they're doing is they're projecting those very same things onto the Democrats. It's not hard to figure out. What is sort of frightening is the idea that Dr. Gorka was up to recently <laughs> – being paid by the taxpayer for an actual real job in the National Security Council, and his wife is still working at the Homeland Security Department. These are basically crazy bloggers from Breitbart who got government jobs they never should have had. Gorka, I don't even think he was able to get a proper security clearance. He's, he's, a, he's sort of a wacky, proto-Nazi-ish <laughs> right-wing blogger. Why is anyone listening to him? He doesn't have any credentials to talk about anything that he talks about. Um, and this idea that, you know, Hillary Clinton is Ethel Rosenberg, you know, and that, you know, somehow getting oppo research on Donald Trump's weird ties to Russia is equivalent to selling nukes, nuclear secrets in the 30s. It's just 